for us. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so that's that's one aspect, like the online stuff. Then there's also the cross-play aspect as to like getting that to work. Um, yeah, and that's that's a real like that's a big topic as well because of how the different platforms have support for different things. And for example, there is still an issue that we have are working around that we hope to solve in, in the future. I, I I should I don't know if, <laughs> how much I should say, but like it's it's essentially like you can't if you don't own an application on on Steam, you can't start. Uh, the Steam API uh, with that platform's ID. It's impossible, you can't do it. Uh, which means if you can't start an API, you can't resolve the state of your friends even. You can't even get your friends list normally. You can do that through other means, but if you get a friends list, how do you see what game they are in and so on? You need to get their state. Yeah. And you can't do that unless you own it on Steam. Uh, and that's like something we have to work around. Uh, and there might be solutions that are really good for it, but but like one solution we are doing now that is that when you have a session up and running, you have an ID uh, for that session, and anyone that has that ID can join you if you set that option, of course. Uh, and that means that no matter what platform they're running on, as long as they have the ID, that ID, they can join you. Uh, so you don't need necessarily uh, the friend list or like their state you can join them just by knowing the session and that is exactly how a dedicated server would work as well you have the id of that server and that's how you can join it right <clears throat> so does that mean like when if you want to cross play you can't really do beyond the epic end and then like add in your steam friends it's, it's the other way around or how does that yeah so right now when you're if you're using steam you can just uh, say, hey, I want to connect uh, my Epic account, and then you log into Epic, and then you can be on both at the same time. Right. Uh, you don't have to own the game on Epic to do that. You just have to log in. Uh, and that means you can get all Epic friends, uh, and you can get all your Steam friends in one list. Uh, the issue is that your Epic friends playing only on Epic and doesn't own the game on Steam will not actually be able to see your Steam presence, but they can see your Epic presence. Right. So. That kind of will work mostly seamless for for most people, but there will be cases where where if you only own the game on Epic and your friends only own it on Steam, then you will not be able to directly see your... Uh, and he doesn't want to have an Epic account. Mm. Uh, so you can be friends on Epic. So you, you can't like connect. Uh, that way you will have to use the session ID. Got it. <clears throat> There's a question here on like, do you guys have session password with the IDs, or because I assume there's there's authentic authentication with the login within the different, or how does that work? Right now, you have to just set uh, like your se your session to be uh, public uh, in a way, not public, but it's like it's findable by a session ID, mm -hmm. but it must be an exact match, and this, you don't have full control of. Uh, the session ID, it needs to include uh, some characters that you don't actually have control over, ensuring that it's a unique ID uh, and it is not too easy to just randomly find. And that's all you need to join right now. Hmm. Like, the, if, if uh, we run into problems with that, we'll, I hope we can build on top of that. And uh, it's just in general that like, the Steam issue with the, like, you're logging in on Steam, maybe there is a workaround for that as well. but. It's uh, it's not stuff like that are certain, and there are different solutions. So I, I can't really talk too much about that. Hmm. Cool. Uh, 